Hello, 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 Tuta here coming in to take a search for to bring you another video of Ronda C. Now, while we are on this screen, and not the last one, well, that's because, as I stated when I updated that game, so many new things and balance changes have come along, and changes of it, it, it's this while the same will work, it's not compatible with all the new crap. So we'll be starting a new one, meaning it's going to go on for a little longer than normal. <laughs> Anywho. Obviously we start with the War in the Pacific, but here's a great setting up here. As I are, we have options here. This is, how this, is normal. this is how it's all set up right now. Yeah, I can almost pretty much tell you I probably forget those. Campaign, War in the Pacific, Settings. We got campaign difficulty. Balance, elite hard, easy, very easy. I'm just drop it down to easy. And we use the submarines, we can turn that off. We're keeping that on. And we use aircraft carriers, we can turn that off. We are keeping that on, because that's the fun. Refund command points, post repair, post rest and repair. I've been debating this one. And I'm going to keep it on. Oh no. I want the one off. I'm gonna keep these two off. Although this is still tempting to keep on, but I like the ability to refund a ship and then get a new one out. That way I can keep making mistakes and if I keep seeing getting ships well, if they sunk I don't get it back, but if they take so much damage, I'm not waiting like five months to get the damn thing back. Well, I suspect you are very careless how I run out of ships to bring out. Probably, dude, probably as I'm the Japanese, I'll probably put this back on just to signify the difference between the, uh, what do you call it? Economies. Anywho, let's start, shall we? Now, I've already read this, so I'm not going to read through it again. Four twenty, blaze it! <laughs> we got a little more points. Okay. Uh, I thought I got new aircraft from the bases. Oh no, the, these aren't as late war bases. Okay, never mind. All right, I know what he was talking about. Okay. So, what's the plan here? Well, probably not the same thing as we did last time. A new C. We're gonna start off with a carrier fleet. Probably gonna do the exact same fleet we did last time. With Saratoga. A seven. I just want to check something real quick. Yeah, it's a seventeen, which amazes me with how expensive. Well, for the Java. Ooh, not a bad AA suite. <laughs> but no uh, secondary, so never mind. Dude. No secondaries as well. But a very good anti air suite. Alright, well, then I guess obviously the American. Let's go for destroyers, though. Let's check other nature destroyers that we can use first. Jarvis. Dual purpose, yes. Sure as hell no. <laughs> no. God no. No, E classes aren't. Oh, they are dual purpose. Oh, but that's horrible in here. No. Yes. Wow. That is an interesting design of a ship. I'm sorry, huh? <laughs> well, that's interesting. Check out that plane in a second. What? Why did you lose one? 
you do have more AD here for light AA. You still got the plane. These are interesting destroyers, I must say. I would like to use them at some point. French, other guy. French, the only thing the French have is, is the Sukhoth. That's it. So obviously for uh, destroyers, Americans are the way to go for us. And we're probably going to use, again, probably the Benson class. So Benson, Mayo, and for CLs. Well, let's see. Got Perth, which, yeah, no. Got the Crown Colony, which we could use. We're an anti-air loadout. Twenty twenty one. Say me. Alright, well can't use you, can't use you, can't use you, can't use you. Aren't you an interesting one? Lots of AA. Yeah, nope. We've already seen that one. Alright. Light Cruiser is still the Atlantis. Atlanta and Juno. You know. Alright. To that, uh, make this circ not convoy. Uh, circular. Oh, it's <laughs> Alright, that's perfect. Uh, do I put another carrier in here? As tempting as that is. Oh, shit. I don't know how this is ass hat backwards. Hmm. Lost carries a little less planes. Oh my god, yes, this carries so many fucking planes. The same, except for the last one. Last one carries more. Well, yeah, it carries four more of everything, except for the Avengers carries two more. Essex and, and Enterprise, because they're the only two that will ever. Be two, six. We'll see what we have left. Yeah. We'll see what we have left. I just gotta do a few things. There we go. Alright. Now I need Midway. New C. Now let's go make a British fleet. Can you King George? I can use her now. Standard class battleship, but she's a battle cruiser. But she costs 70. I wonder what the cheapest battleship I have. Like a standard battleships. 70, 70, that's it. 80. 65, the Queen Elizabeth class battleships. 24 knots. Let's just do something really stupid. Two, 
two V class destroyers. I think that's a good one. <coughs> need two battleships. I do normally come with a lot. Oh hell. I have a f I have a fun thing to do. Do a combination. There we go. Colorado can go with Queen Elizabeth. Though I would probably, I wish I would put her with her sisters, but let's have a little bit of fun. Let's actually have something in there with decent anti air. Okay, let's not have it that way. So we'll have you swap. Why don't you on the tail end? We got Remington. Or Brim yeah, Birmingham. No, Birmingham. Birmingham. Fuck me. Fucking names. Oh, yeah, I got 86 points. Okay. Now let's make ourselves a convoy. Uh, DEs. Uh, okay, well, I personally like the, uh, Forty eight depth charges. Oh, what the hell? Let's test these out. Put two there. And they got the aircraft too, so I can scout. And then merchants. Well, troop. One two one one three five one two eight one six four one one seven nine hundred dang if there's so many troops in these things. This is the cheapest of our cargo ships. Then I can have a total of... I could add probably a light cruiser. No, I think that's not, that's too much. Yeah, Omaha. Play three. So we do a 15 level ship. Perth with it. Surprise, Perth is cheaper than. You know what? Okay, this fleet's gonna have no radar, but we'll have the Dutch. We'll have the Dutch help. Yeah. How much does destroyers cost, by the way? Six. 
I don't have either of them. I don't have radar. Likely even the Clemsons have radar. American 6th class with these. Oh, and the Bensons. Oh, we're one high. Well. That's an easy fix. And now we got a ship with a... Uh, radar. With a very good convoy. Should allow us to really take ports. If not multiple. Using troop supply troop. Troop supply. Well, troop troop. Supply, supply, supplies by having like supply, troop, supply, and then supply, troop, supply. And these things can also carry a decent amount. Alright, well, first off, troops. Supply, supply. Let's think of this. Hang on. Four. Three. Alrighty, what island to take for? I think we could try. We should go take Guadalcanal again. I'd be okay with that. Task Force One, Saratoga, who we're gonna station in the exact same place as last time. Only we're gonna be a lot farther out to see it. Task Force 2. Ship Force. Ship Force 1. But actually... And you're gonna go bombard. You can go bombard Tarawa again. And task Force Three, also known as um, invasion. Con invasion. Invasion Fleet One. I probably misspelled that. I, as a matter of fact, I think I did misspell that. Actually, I'm tempted to go for Tarawa right away. Yeah. Should get a little plan. We're going to secure a quarter. So we'll go for Tarawa and Guadalcanal. And then eventually shortly. So we're not going to bombard it. So, well, we are going to have ships sort of patrolling. I'm, gonna, I gotta do, I'm doing this, but I'm sending the Saratoga within the uh, detection range. So I can bait out the aircraft. Okay. Let's get this show on the road. And there goes Saratoga just flying. 
Let's check something real quick with something there. Oh, I didn't mean to slow down. Speed up, please. Keep it at that speed. Yeah, 12, 15, 15. I can't wait to do the tension. 15 for T class. Shit, I would rather have my, uh, Ugh, Gatos have been reworked. Air operations are now available. Okay, ooh, 61. Huh, I wish. It's pretty damn deep. I'd like to use that. Was that April 28th, 1920, 1942? Yeah, I'm afraid the gate, they, uh, Gatos could have gone deeper than that. Alright, air group time. Saratoga. I wish it was a lot easier. I wish they, I wish I could send them out farther. I really wish. Which I could do that with the Dauntless is make my own. Which I might do here. As soon as I get done getting the uh, static line rolling. Click, 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 click. Now I wish I could have the single 1,000 pounds to two underlying fuel tanks. None, and look at that range. Have this one just going straight down. Let's say we're about to here. And then last one, I would say. Oh, nope. There we go, something like that ish. A little bit of a okay, it's a pretty big hole in it. But give me a lot longer range. Actually not RTB. I'm I'll save you for when you get on post. On your station. Once I get you on station, then I'll use them. Probably set them up in little patrol groups here. Oh, and I need to do a cap. How much would that leave? I launched 24.
13, yeah, that's more than enough. Gee, I, I should have. Uh, nope, my bad. I should ask. Oh, great and mythical game. 21, 21, 21, 21, 27, 15, 22. Yeah, pretty much all Japanese can have just 21 aircraft. Scary. Yeah, those are a little scary. Alright, well, let's not play the game just yet since that convoy is so far behind. No point in doing it now. Matter of fact, wait right there. Which have you put put you in a position to cover the carrier real quick? As slow as you are. Yeah, but that's gonna happen in a while. All right. Not you. Uh, I need the carrier. I start willing down their aircraft. The Quita. And with so two. So one, two, three, four. We should get a total of four more points from this. I expect any fighters to be launched relatively soon now. Although I should put on the model where fighters and float planes can't. Here we go. Make sure we're all set up. Again. Oh my god, these guys are right over the fleet. Okay. Let's set this up as always. They're flying boats. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And just for the time being, I'm going to let the ships engage. Saratoga, begin the left hard, uh, left hand turn, increase the flank. Yeah, they are right goddamn there. Well, I guess they're going. I don't know who the hell they're going for. What are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no.
I say that was a little close. Okay, these guys are going for Saratoga. The fuck are you doing? The sh plane's over there. There, he dropped a bomb, son of a bitch. General Rudder completely destroyed. We can still turn. The fuck was that? They didn't even intercept them. What the fuck? Alright, whatever. They're still battle worthy. Barely. She's just gonna be really too It depends on how slow she is. Right now we're lucky to go eight knots. Okay. And any other carrier that would have fucking destroyed the damn thing. What the fuck? You guys have. Why are you not sh. There's something wrong. That's ridiculous. You should have shot. I think the planes are bugged out again. Yeah, I think the planes are bugged out. How's the fire coming along? All right. Almost done with putting out the said fire. Gonna get the flooding here under control and then, uh. We're gonna speed up to 66. Alright, let's kick up the flank and see how fast we go. 18 knots. Pushing the edge of battle worthiness. Really pushing the edge. Really pushing the edge there. And fighters. Well, we'll fight it. Yeah, had it been any lower, I would probably say no. Yeah, I don't like these new uh, plane changes because they change the way they fly, but not the way they target and shoot. So.
shouldn't be a contest at this point. That is it. Yeah, I don't like the playing changes. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. This is too tall. I'm finally glad this is why I changed that so I can fucking retreat because you never know this game's bullshit. Anywho, I am still thoroughly enjoying this mod. Let this be known. I am thoroughly enjoying this mod. I picked a ship specifically for a reason in case said reason had happened and said reason did happen. So I picked a ship specifically to handle that. This is Two Tosses. Thank you for joining me on this Let's Play of War on the Sea. Stay safe, and as always, have an awesome, awesome day.